Malchow, a pretty smart guy, even though he hasn't had much competition, at least here in the United States, Rowdy, he's still motivated himself any way he can. You know, I think the experience also of those 96 trials and the 96 Atlanta games has helped him handle the pressure. I think he's kind of tasted that success, and he loves it. And you can tell what a classic butterfly he really is. But Mr. Malchow has a little more company now. Michael Phelps, there he is, just turned 15 years old, but if you look at him, he doesn't look a day over 10. He's come out of nowhere in the last six months, and if he makes the team, he will be the youngest male swimmer to qualify for a U.S. Olympic team in 68 years. Oh, my God. And as you can see, his support is growing just as fast in the stands. Let's check the lanes. Malcho in lane four with a young Mr. Phelps next to him in lane five, and the emergence of Phelps has thrown a bit of a quirk into the hopes of Jeff Somensato, who was a pretty clear runner-up choice before the teenagers started making some noise, but the clear class of the field is Malchow Reddy, who you mentioned is just a classic 200 flyer. He really is now. He's not wearing the full body suit. We've been talking a lot about the suit. He, and he did wear it in the semis and the preliminaries, and he didn't like the feel of it. He felt a little constricted in it. So he's just wearing the one that goes waist to ankles. Right, they will go four lengths of the pool. Again, the world record, 155. Point one eight. Well, you know, I talked to Jeff Somansada. You can see him taking an early lead right now with a white cap in lane number three. I talked to him right before the race, and he said he's got to go out with Tom Malchow. He doesn't have a choice. He knows Malchow will come home. Now, he struggled the last 50, but he is going out very fast, though. Somansada has the lead as they make the first turn, followed closely by Malchow in lane four. And they have begun to separate themselves a little bit from this field early in this race. Well, you know, I talked to Michael Phelps' coach, and he said, listen, he told Michael, don't worry what anybody else does the first 100. It's irrelevant. Just race the last 100. That's where he's so good, and he's up in lane number five. Right now, struggling to stay in third place. Malchow has distanced himself ahead now of Phelps, and now Malchow is ahead of world record pace, and he's the kind of guy that just seems to get stronger as this race goes on. He, he really does, Dan. And you know what? He did the same thing in the prelims of the 200 fly. He was 55 flat, and he just missed breaking the world record in the prelims. So you might see something very special right now. Malchow heads to his last turn. The split to watch, 124.9. And he's just a little bit above He's right it. there, though. He's right there. Malchow has the lead in lane four. In second place is Soman Sato in lane three. And Stephen Brown in lane two has moved up to third. Now he's, a little faded. he's a little short on his stroke. You can see he's starting to labor a little bit. He's going a little high, even though he's going to win this race. And what a race right now for second. Here comes Phelps up in lane number five. Battling Soman Sato for the second spot as Malchow is going to win it. Look at the Phelps is going to go too. Phelps just surged to the wall to gain himself a berth. But it's Tom Malchow who wins it. And there's the youngster who is now the second youngest male swimmer to qualify for a U.S. Olympic team. Ralph Flanagan, who at age 13 years, eight months, made the 1932 team in Los Angeles. So history made here in the men's 200 fly. No, he doesn't look like he's going to start shaving for another five or six years. <laughs> I mean, he looks like a little kid. But he did such a great job the last 50. He did just what his coach talked about doing. Wait, be patient. But you can see Tom Malchow. He's really laboring to get home. He had trouble that last 50. He's still the best butterfly in the world. But Phelps, right above him, proved he's in a class with himself right now also. Malchow took the silver in Atlanta, now has designs on the gold medal. But what a race by Michael Phelps, who turns in the fourth fastest American time ever. Let's go to Andrea Joyce. And Michael Phelps, congratulations to you, the youngest to qualify in 68 years. Was this in your expectations, or is this unexpected for you to make the team? Um, the only thing I had coming to this meet was just do the best that I can. And if it was making the Olympic team, then it was. 15 years old, you look pretty calm. Can you describe your emotions? Um, coming out here, I was a little bit nervous, but uh, I just tried to make it low-key and try to just not think about it that much. 
And I guess you're going to have to take some books to Sydney. All right, congratulations. Back to you guys. So you've got the 15-year-old Phelps and the cheering contingent for 23-year-old Tom Malchow's girlfriend Aaron in the middle, his mother Mary Jo on the left, and dad Tim watching Tom Malchow gain his second Olympic berth. He's on his way to Sydney, and so is the young teen Phelps, who still, as you saw, has the braces on the lower set of teeth.